Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. It is Sunday, um, November 28th, and today is actually our Prime Giving event. So I gotta remind you that it's happening tonight at 8 30 p.m. Central Time. We got stuff we're giving away. We got Zelda Game and Watches. We got a Switch OLED here. Um, we have also a special edition Switch Lite being given away and a handful of other things. I hope to find all of you at that event tonight at 8.30. It'll be linked down in the description and the pinned comment. And if you want to win the Switch OLED, uh, there's also going to be a Satisfied Grip bundled in with that. All you need to do is not only show up tonight, but we have a separate entry form for the grand prize as well down in the description or the pinned comment. Also, if we can get this video to a thousand likes here in the first 24 hours, we will do a $20 eShop gift card giveaway to somebody down in the comments. That being said, let's get into this um, information we have here from the Game Awards that just might be hinting that we are about to get a massive Breath of the Wild 2 reveal. So we already know that uh, there's rumors circulating around the Game Awards for Zelda. Whether it's a 35th anniversary reveal, thanks to Samus Hunter. Some people are expecting Breath of the Wild 2 to be there. Uh, that could be part of the 35th anniversary celebration. Could be its own thing. We know Breath of the Wild 2 is slated for next year. The last time there was a brand new Zelda game slated for the following year was back in 2014 when Breath of the Wild was supposed to be in 2015. What happened that year? We got a big gameplay reveal of Breath of the Wild at the Game Awards. So there's a lot of things stacking up in addition to the fact that Nintendo heavily hinted, AG and Nomo specifically, heavily hinted that we were going to get more information on Breath of the Wild 2 before the end of the year. And on top of that, Bill Trinan also really inferred that we were going to get more information soon. Well, last time we got some was E3. It's been a little bit, uh, so maybe this qualifies as soon. So there's already some expectation built up to see Breath of the Wild 2, the sequel, whatever they call this, at the Game Awards. But then Jeff Keighley, doing what he does best, decided to tweet out something that is raising expectations even further. He tweeted out just yesterday, just saw the final cut of a Game Awards world premiere we have been working on with the developer for two and a half years. Truly honored that we are entrusted to share this work with the world. And two and a half years ago is when Breath of the Wild 2 was unveiled. That's right, folks. This literally lines up with talks that probably could have started right after Breath of the Wild, the sequel, was unveiled. Obviously, Jeff Keighley got a world exclusive with Nintendo in the, in the past to unveil the gameplay of Breath of the Wild, and you would know that Jeff Keighley would want to lock down, again, another exclusive reveal for the next big Zelda game. Whether it is another game, maybe we get to see Eiji Anomo literally playing the game. Maybe we get a title reveal, which Nintendo said they were holding back intentionally. Well, now maybe is the right time to drop it. So, yeah, things are lining up there. We also have Stealth, one of our good buddies out there retweeting us, saying, I really do want to believe he's referring to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. We know the game is pretty far along now, and Nintendo has been holding back on information, including the subtitle, and Zelda has a history at the Game Awards. So, again, a lot lining up now. Some of you might go, but he said world premiere. World premiere is just what he means for, it's a bit of a marketing term, but technically it's not an incorrect one. World premiere just means first time showing of new something, whether it's a trailer, whether it's a gameplay, music, etc. So he uses world premiere to, to, as a blanket term to encompass anything that is first showed at his show. So world premiere doesn't always mean, oh my God, something we don't already know about. So now we can't dismiss, of course, that that is possible as well. It could be a new Kojima game being shown off. Could be a new game from Sony. Could be a new game from, from uh, Bethesda or Xbox. So we can't dismiss that this could obviously mean anything. And people are going to be taking lots and lots of guesses during the show. Although I'm sure Jeff Keighley will reference during the show right before it's unveiled that they've been working uh, to get this to happen for a long time. So we'll see what ends up being at the show. But man, 
Jeff Keighley, that two and a half year mark that he mentions is very interesting to me since literally that lines up with the reveal of Breath of the Wild, the sequel. So my hype, man, my hype is getting a little bit out of control. Good thing we just launched some brand new Hype Responsibly merch. I actually bought a handful myself and they are on their way uh, to my humble abode here in the next week or so. But yeah, we just launched a new Hype Responsibly line of t-shirts and sweatshirts. Uh, they'll put a link down in the description if you guys want to check that out. In fact, we have a code you can use right now for 15% off or free shipping. Whichever it ends up being cheaper for you, I wanted to give you guys both options because shipping is more expensive in some areas. Uh, so for the 15% off, the code is capital N, capital P, capital B, capital F, and then 2021. That's how you get 15% uh, off for that shirt um, or any of our merch on our merch store. Because uh, we just launched some new podcast merch and stuff like that. Uh, also, if you'd rather have free shipping because you think that'll be cheaper for you, we have a code for that as well. That is just capital N, capital P, capital F, capital S. And those codes will be good to use through the end of November. So, uh, yeah, if you want a hype responsibly shirt or sweatshirt, now's the time. Uh, because it's probably the cheapest it's going to be for the rest of this year. Uh, because obviously our discount codes expire at the end of the month. So thank you guys so much for supporting the show and I will catch you in the next video.